Good evening, my lovely friends. Happy last Sunday in February. It's actually the last day in February. And I have very little sewing to show you today. <laughs> I, oh, the heat of this week and the busyness of this week, but mostly the heat of this week, has totally zapped my sojo. I, <laughs> I just had no energy left other than to just be hot. So I didn't get a lot done. The only th real thing I got to do during the week was the bowls that I did the tutorial on. And I did finish a quilt with a friend. So it wasn't entirely all my sewing. Um, a friend of mine and I made a quilt for one of our mutual friends. We're kind of a bit of a three musketeers of crafting the three of us we love to get together and just we have a lot of fun every time we do and so we um carrie and i made a quilt for my friend katrina and um i'll put a photo either side of me i'm not sure one side of me to show you what it is it's just a hearts quilt um we had both made hearts quilts and katrina hadn't so we have made one for her because we love her and she's wonderful so we did that um majority of it on sunday the same day that i quilted my heart's quilt um i just couldn't show you in case she watched the video and now that she's being gifted the quilt i can show you <laughs> um but yeah other than that there was no sewing there was no knitting because it was just so hot I did do a little bit of spending, but um, I think that was just out of desperation to try to get me excited to get back in here because when it, like this is a really hot room, that my sewing room gets like full sun during the day and it just really heats up and it's just stinking hot, stinking hot. So I'm so glad that summer is hopefully going to start. Oh, who am I kidding? We don't really have autumn. <laughs> it's just going to be hot for ages. Um, yeah, it's going to be hot for ages. It's actually, it starts to get you down a little bit when you see other people getting excited about seasons. And they still, in Queensland shops, put all these cardigans and things in the shops about now. When you're just so over being hot, it, you just are over it. And you see all these lovely knits and you know you're not going to be able to wear them for ages. It's not fair. <laughs> but anyway, enough of my whinge. I'm just having a whinge because I'm hot and bothered. But I have got some things to show you. So um, let's start with... Let's start with these ones. I have some fabric here. These are some fat quarters that, let's open them up, shall we? That Spotlight had on sale for half price, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think I got four fat quarters for $11. And they are really sweet. I have got one of my clients, her birthday is coming up and she loves Minnie Mouse. And she also loves um, Princess Jasmine. So I am going to, aren't they sweet? Oh, that's upside down. There we go. I'm going to make her a little pouch. And inside I've got these little toys on order. They haven't arrived yet to go inside the zipper pouch. And so I thought I would use these. For, I really like this one. I think that's really sweet. They're all sweet. Who am I kidding? I really like them. So that I thought was a really good find. And half price. And then from Spotlight also, check out this zipper. The actual zipper, like not um, plasticky bit. What do they call that bit? That's the pull, that's the, I don't know. That's the zip part. It's little hearts. Can you see that? How sweet is that? So I'm gonna have to do something with that one because it's just too cute. So I'm not sure yet, but I'll come up with a plan for that. See, sometimes you need to do a little bit of shopping because it gets you excited to make stuff again. 
and when it is just life getting in the way for me it's the heat <laughs> but just also just being really busy I think we really need to remember to take a bit of time for ourselves and just slow down and yeah just just have some time to ourselves I have been having time to myself but I've actually been spending it sitting in the coolest part of the house directly under the air conditioner um, reading I've been doing a lot of reading which made me want to have a go at doing look what I found so this is from Lincraft which is another um, like craft store near me I don't generally buy a lot from there because their range is usually fairly limited but I did see this like cross stitch cloth and thought seeing as I was so into reading that maybe I might cross stitch some little bookmarks so wouldn't that be fun and that's not going to be a like an overly hot thing to do I can do that sitting in the air conditioning on the really hot sweltering days so that was something that I bought that I'll hopefully get to this week because if it's still stinking hot, I can do that and I'll still be playing. And then speaking of cross stitches, there was this kit here. Can I show you that? Yeah, this kit here at Kmart and it was like $11. So let's, let's have a look, shall we, at this. So inside the box for $11 at Kmart, you get a little cross stitch book. And it's got some little pointers and tips about doing your stitches. Little pictures there, sweet little book. And then in here, you also get some cloth. Oh, I hope that's not too loud, sorry. Over there. You get some cloth. So you get a white piece and a black piece. And then you get a heap of different they're all double-sided cross-stitch patterns to do. This was $11. And then what else do we have? Some little needles. Some floss. And an embroidery hoop. Like, that's pretty cool, I thought. So I got that because I thought some of these patterns, um, I saw this after I'd bought my strips for bookmarks and I'm just, I was looking at some of these patterns and quite a few of these you could use on those strips. You would just have to work out the placement. I don't know, I just thought that was going to be a fun thing to do a little little bees like how cute would that be on a little bookmark so that is something else that I purchased and seeing as I had reading on the brain and um look I saw I saw a picture I don't know and maybe it was maybe it was on Instagram and someone had in their bookshelf, instead of bookends, they had like little book worlds. And I thought, oh, that's amazing. Like they had like a little Harry Potter world, sort of like a bookend, but, and it lit up and it was gorgeous. I thought, oh, that was so amazing. So I, I tried to find some to see how much they would cost to buy. And they were like hundreds of dollars. So that wasn't gonna happen. But then also at Spotlight, I saw this. And it's a DIY miniature house. And it's like a little study. It's got all the little books and things everywhere. And I thought maybe I'll make my own little bookend world 
for my bookshelf. So I thought that would be really fun. Look on the back, can you see that? Oh, I think that's gonna be really fun. So I don't really know, it says that it's using wood, fabric and paper to make this. And it says that it requires two lithium batteries. So maybe it actually lights up as well. Oh, maybe it does. Look, it's got a little light in the roof. Oh, so I'm really excited to have a go at making that. I think that would be a fun, a fun project. And I can maybe get the kids to help. But yes, I'm big into reading as well. Um, so my bookshelf is kind of special and I thought that would be really cute. So I've got that as well. But otherwise, I don't have anything else to show you because I just didn't sew. I didn't knit. I didn't sew. I didn't crochet. I didn't do any cross stitch. I just bought stuff. It's a bit disappointing, really. I just need someone to be over. I'm, I'm finished with it. I want, I want cool. I want it to be cool. I want to be able to get out my hand quilting, which I've never even shown you. I've got a Liberty quilt that I made that I'm hand quilting, but I have to wait until it's cool enough because it's, otherwise it's too hot. Yeah, just all of this beautiful yarn that needs to be knitted and crocheted and all these beautiful quilts that I've made that I'll, I just, I haven't been able to use really because Unless I put the air conditioning on to 16 degrees, it doesn't get cold enough. Oh my goodness. I need summer to be over. I'm definitely a cooler climate person. Just living in the wrong place. <laughs> but that's okay. Never mind. So it's a short and sweet video today, my friends, because I didn't make anything. <laughs> It's a bit slack of me, really. Yep, didn't make anything, but that's okay. I will hopefully take you along, I'm thinking, because work tomorrow, I'm not going to have any time to do this during the week, but I thought maybe next weekend I might open it up with you guys and we could have a look at it together. It's a non-sewing thing, but it's still pretty crafty. And it's still pretty cute. I might try to link some of the bookends that I saw in the description box so you can see what I mean. They just look really sweet in amongst the books. And I think that sort of thing would really capture the imagination of my youngest as well. Um, I really encourage reading with all the kids. Uh, I just started... So I'm in an online book club that... Um, actually starting tomorrow we're starting a new book but I've also joined one oh it's, I guess it's about 40 minutes drive it's not super close but I've actually and I dragged my eldest son along with me and he really liked it so it's it's a I don't know it's a real mixed age demographic and they tend to cycle between uh, fiction non-fiction and classic and so we're up to fiction this time around. But yeah, so that was a really nice thing to start and got to meet some new people, which was a little bit of fun. And yeah, so I, I do. I encourage my kids to read. I just think it's such a, a great way to escape and relax and unwind. I'm not a big TV watcher. I just, I'm not, I don't mind going to the movies, like actually going out to see a movie at the cinema, but I don't really, I don't watch a lot of TV at home. I think I get too impatient with just sitting, staring at a screen. I think I like to be able to do stuff while I'm sitting there. You know, like even if it's just cross stitch, I can probably sit there and watch a movie if I've got cross stitch, but I prefer to read or so <laughs> if I'm going to unwind they're the two things I like to do read and so well anyway I am going to leave that there for today 
So I'm sorry I didn't have a great deal of sewing to show you today, but I did enjoy showing you the little mini haul that I got. I'm looking forward to making a little mini mouth zipper pouch with that fabric. It's just really super cute. And then I'll need to come up with something pretty funky for that zip because that is a cool zip. They had other ones there as well. There was one with let letters, I think, but it was black and white and I just wasn't sure what I would do with it. I really like them. They're very funky. Until next week, my lovely friends, have a great week. I hope you are all well and I hope you have not lost your sojo. I hope you've been making some things or just taking it easy and relaxing and having a lovely week. And I will see you next Sunday for the next social chat. Bye.